In this video I'm going to show you how I went from the stock 944 Turbo inlet to a uh, custom 3D printed one with a cone filter. So I was thinking if I pull this air box and eliminate this all together, I could put an air cone right here. Problem with that would be then I'd be sucking all the hot air under the engine bay. So I like this snorkel design where it comes into the corner, but I need to be able to fit a filter there. So here's what I'm proposing. I'm going to take this air box off. I already took liberty and took the top portion off here. I want to take this air box off, design something in CAD where I can mount this uh, mass airflow to the existing bracket down here. And uh, I'm going to create a, an extrusion somehow of coming up and back into this pipe here. From there, once I get that design settled, I'll work on building a snorkel that goes all the way over there that incorporates a new air filter. This gasket's gonna work perfectly to model after. There we go, the flange gasket, or the proof of concept, is right there. Now the outlines are correct, um, but I ended up measuring out the holes a little bit wrong, so I got to fix that before I go. But that's exactly why I just made this quick template before I spend hours and hours printing a whole box. So next step would be to fix these holes, and then continue to make something that I can attach this mounting bracket down here. Uh, this is not the final part, but this is uh, about half the work right here. Uh, we have our flange design and our beginning of our intake, as well as the mounting bracket for the uh, mass airflow sensor. So I'm going to mock this up and see if this fits. And if it does, I don't, I don't have to tweak this. So I'll just continue and incorporate that other tube right here. All right, to my surprise, this actually fits really well. I just put two screws in here just to mount it in place. And then I use one bolt from the original throttle body housing or intake housing for here. What I'm gonna end up doing is putting a nut on the back side of here uh, so I can just thread this in and that'll be it. But overall, that's looking pretty decent. Uh, it's really awesome that the plane that this thro this mass airflow sensor sits on is uh, parallel to this plane here. So all I have to do is uh, run a, an offset plane and I can make this box work into this. The problem is going to be turning this square or rectangle into like a circle or a triangle and revolving it back into this piece.
finally after two days and three minutes, it's done. Cora changed the uh, circles into more of a triangular design. Kind of not happiest about that, but it still looks kind of cool. Um, and I took the belt sander and I just cleaned this surface a little bit better, just so it made better to the uh, mass airflow. Alright, ran into a problem. Hood won't close now. I was dumb and did not think about this being flat for a reason. Obviously, this is protruding into the hood, so I need to make another one. So, great. Been a little while I have printed another um, intake tube uh, this one's flat on top so it'll fit under the hood this time because this right here keeps bumping I can't even close the hood all the way so now that that's sorted this is gonna go on pretty soon I might throw some paint on it first um, and then here is a cone air filter this is about the only one I could find around my area that would fit I'm going to squeeze it in here angle it down a little bit toward the uh, air inlet right here. Once I figure out where I wanna put this exactly, I'll start making a tube that'll run to here. I'll mock up the design a little bit and then go ahead and start printing a couple. And here it is. We've got the snorkel all set up, uh, the cone filter fits, um, the mass airflow is all plugged in, and it's all set. Car runs great, and it's ready to go. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.